I'm Adam Levy, the founder of the New York International Beer Competition, as well as the wine competition, spirits competition here in New York. I also run international beverage competitions in, in Berlin, Melbourne, and Hong Kong. I'm very excited to be here. It's our sixth annual New York International Beer Competition. All our judges are trade buyers. They're judging the beer by its category and by its price. For me, what's so much so much fun about this one is just that it's it's trade buying, and you know, for all the other competitions I judge, it's also really great and it's fun, and you can really pay attention to the style and the parameters of the style. But when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, what I'm buying for the bars, you know, it has to be able to sell. And so you can look at something that is exquisite and delicious and wonderful, but if it's the price is off or it's not, you know, uh, marked properly or if people aren't going to get it, it can be really difficult. And what I personally love isn't always what I can sell. And so this competition is what you can sell and why. I've done other uh, similar competitions before, but this for this one it's different because everyone here is a beverage buyer. And this is people who, this is their livelihood to taste something and on the spot say the price is right and the flavor is where it needs to be, I can sell this. I can put on a straight face and tell someone that this is worth their hard earned money. We all deal on a daily basis face to face with customers and we see the direct reactions from people when we sell this to them. So viewing the beer through that scope makes it a very different product than just something you're drinking for enjoyment. I actually sampled a cider slash rattler last year. I was very curious at that and I ended up finding it was available in my marketplace. I brought the product in, did, uh, did some real nice sales and volume numbers with them and now I've actually been introduced to the importer and now I, uh, I get them in the store a couple times a year for consumer tasting. So you never know, you know what little you know, piece of gold you're going to uh, pull out of this competition, especially too. It's always nice when you can jump on a certain brewery or a certain trend before it gets big. I'd like to think that some of the people downstairs are sort of the tastemakers when it comes to craft beer in New York. What we elect to pour and not to pour uh, can directly influence a, a brand's relevance in the market. Um, we're constantly seeing brands come in and brands that don't constantly strive for relevance get left in the dust. So sending products to something like this would be a good way to keep your product relevant and uh, to possibly expose your product to someone who has the ability to bring it into the fore in a way they would not otherwise get. The, the judging pro process, which I was a bit surprised about, is is more about um, you know talking about the beer with the person that you're judging with and coming to a consensus, uh, which is you know it's important uh, for yourself. It helps you understand how you are approaching beers and um, uh, you know have to defend certain choices or uh, you know say why you like certain things or the other person might not. So it's. Uh, kind of a learning experience for yourself as well, uh, where you get to know your palate a little bit better. Yeah, plus it's a lot of fun. Here at the New York International Beer Competition, we either award no medal, bronze, silver, gold, double gold. What does that mean? It's a consensus decision. Not one judge says it's a bronze and that's it. The whole panel decides what it is. So one judge can say no medal, one judge can say silver, they come to a consensus. That's the process we worked with. Bronze means they buy it, silver they like it, gold they love it, and the whole panel agrees it's gold, and that's a double gold medal. great exposure for your beer, especially like, and I would assume that as a brewer or distributor you stand behind your product, you're going to want to put it up against all these other products because at the end of the day if you really stand behind it and you believe it's going to stand out, and hopefully it does, and maybe it's a beer that I haven't heard of or have maybe overlooked. Um, because I have preconceived notions about it in some way, shape, or form, and having it kind of just judging the quality of the beer without any labels on it, I think is very helpful um, to help kind of break some of those stereotypes and, and someone could easily get on my shelf just, just based on this competition. I think it's really fun. The, the concept of actually having a competition which really kind of focuses on uh, like the buyer perspective, you know, it, it's, it's kind of like something that's a little bit different and really kind of unique and I, I think uh, the fact that we're able to kind of land in that kind of perspective uh, is something that I think really lends texture to, to a competition such as this. Mm -hmm.